Next, we're going to make one of my all-time favorite recipes, miso yaki butterfish. It's two easy steps. You make the marinade, then you bake the fish. <laughs> I'll make the marinade. So I'm going to put sugar, made in, and sake into a pot. And we're going to boil it for five minutes and then simmer it for 10 more minutes. So this has been simmering for about 10 minutes and I'm gonna pour it into the miso. Watch your hands, Keone. Wow, it's hot. <laughs> Yow. Okay, what's really important is we're actually, we're, the reason we're pouring the, the liquid into the miso is because I wanna make sure we don't bring the miso to a boil. What happens is if you boil miso is the flavor of the miso gets lost. So what we're gonna do is incorporate this and I'm gonna borrow the whip from Shell oh. and get this evenly incorporated. Now, once we get all the miso mixed in with the, the sake, the meeting and the sugar, we're gonna wanna let it cool off and then we're gonna go ahead and marinate our fish. And uh, we have butterfish steaks that we're gonna be marinating. This is what the uh, this is sort of what the consistency, consistency looks like. Looks like. How does mm. it smell? It smells good. It smells like miso, mm -hmm. miso yaki, right? Yeah. Okay, so now I have two pieces of fish here, and we've already marinated these for two days. Did you say two days? I did. I said two days. It's important to go two okay. days because you want to make sure that this marination has a, real, a really good opportunity to penetrate through the entire piece of fish. If you were to go less than that, what happens is you have a really good, strong, solid flavor on the outside, but the inside would tend to be bland. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we have an oven that's at 450 degrees. We're going to put it in the oven for about eight minutes, and then we're going to pull it out and finish it off in the broiler to get that really nice sort of caramelization and charring on top. Okay. All right. These have been in the oven for eight minutes, and now we're going to put them in the broiler just to get some nice caramelization on the top. Be careful to watch because they'll burn quickly. Okay, these are great. They've been in for just at two minutes, and as you can see, the edges have nicely browned and just light caramelization on the center of the piece of the fish. So here we have it, 48 hour marinated misoyaki <laughs> butter fish. Yum, I think it's definitely worth the wait. For this great recipe and more, visit us at foodland.com.